Throughout the pandemic, we've heard the refrain, test, test, test. We're no longer just testing those with symptoms, we're testing those without them too. And now the government has announced that schools are going to start mass testing asymptomatic teachers and pupils from January with lateral flow and PCR tests both being used. Both of these need swabs to be taken, but only PCR needs a lab. The test will determine if a child can continue at school or they and their family have to isolate. Dr Angela Raffle has worked as a consultant to the UK National Screening Programmes. She says the benefits and harms of this kind of scheme are not yet properly known. Newsnight has reported the concerns of a number of scientists about the accuracy of these lateral flow tests, in particular when administered by people who are not health professionals. Some studies have shown they appear to miss half of positive cases. And we have now seen a letter which seems to suggest ministers within the Department of Health believed as recently as last week that mass swab testing of people without symptoms was not the best way to do things. This letter was sent to an MP from Lord Bethel, the minister in charge of testing. It was dated December the 11th. And take a look here. In it, he wrote, Swab testing people with no symptoms is not an accurate way of screening the general population. He added widespread asymptomatic testing could undermine the value of testing as there is a risk of giving misleading results. We put the contents of the letter to the Department of Health, which told us that Lord Bethel was responding specifically to a question about blanket PCR testing and said the government is committed to using lateral flow tests in community testing to break chains of transmission. But the government's own studies suggest PCR tests are more accurate than the lateral flow ones being rolled out in schools. We asked the government to comment on Lord Bethel's assertion in the letter that widespread asymptomatic testing could undermine the value of testing those with symptoms, but the department didn't respond. There's also another question about the utility of testing in schools. Are children the main drivers of transmission? Today's figures question that idea. Data show that in schools where infection levels locally were among the top 20% in the country at the time, we can see that 1.18% of primary pupils, that's around 1 in 85, and 1.73% of secondary pupils, that's around 1 in 58, tested positive. It's important to say that obviously this excludes any children who were not in school who may have had COVID or been in contact with someone with COVID. Professor Caroline Relton has been looking at infections and trying to set up studies of testing in schools in Bristol. This is what she had to say. 